Okay, what is a clause? This is another one of those that's maybe a little easier to describe than it is to define, but let's give it a shot. A clause is a unit of grammar which combines a participant with an action or state. participant is called the subject and the action or state is called the predicate. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a participant and this participant uh, can be defined very broadly. Okay, and you'll see as we go through here that that term participant uh, is very fuzzy. It's a person, it's a place, it's a, uh, a, uh, an idea, a process, uh, like running, you know, the, the, the act of running. Um, and the, um, and the, the action or state, uh, tells what something is either doing or what something, or what the participant is doing or what the participant is. Okay, and the name we give to the participant is called the subject and the action or state uh, that we're uh, combining with that uh, subject is called the predicate. And so you'll often hear the clause defined as, you know, a unit of grammar with a subject and a predicate. And then we have to go define what the subject and the predicate are. So that's why I like this first statement better. Let's give the definition and then let's, let's start naming the terms. Okay, but again, like I said, this is easier to show sometimes than it is to define. Okay, my friend is giving his sister a graduation party. The participant is my friend. And what action, in this case, are we combining with my friend? He is going to give his sister a graduation party. And this is the predicate. Okay. Now, let's look at the next one. Who is a very good fireman? Who? And this is one of those fuzzier subjects. But who is the participant? And in this case we're looking for a state. Is a very good fireman. So this is the predicate. Okay. And let's look at the last one. You is the participant or the subject we do have action here and the action is run away and this is the predicate okay so now these all uh, assuming we picked the the correct definition for who uh, a 
among all the different definitions for who. And if we pick the interrogative pronoun, uh, then then all three of these are in fact uh, main uh, main clauses, which can be used for which can be turned into simple sentences. So we can. This is pretty easy. This is a. And we'll define. We'll we'll do more on these terms later. Okay, put a capital letter and a period, and we now have a statement. Okay, and clauses that make statements are called declarative clauses. Okay, if we take this one, and I didn't really mean to make that a capital. It just turned out that way. But let's go ahead and capitalize it, and let's put a question mark. Who is a very good fireman? Now becomes this is an interrogative clause, and we turn and it and it uh, creates a question. Okay, and then finally we head down here, and I purposely wrote this in white because we're going to give somebody an order. So how we do that is we capitalize. run and then put either a period or if we're really serious an exclamation point and we ignore the U okay so we have the sentence run away this is an Im called the imperative this is a command and you say, well, we don't have a subject anymore. Well, we still do. We still know that you is a subject. Whenever we have an imperative, there's always an implied you that's the subject. Okay, so we still have a subject. We're just kind of not saying it out loud. Okay, and we'll talk more about the uh, imperative later. And the imperative always has the... Um, implied subject you because it's something you're saying to somebody okay so clause combines a participant my friend who which is some kind of undefined person out there that in this case that we're trying to um, identify what would be some unidentified thing or idea uh, and you is our um, implied participant. Uh, that's who I'm telling to run away. That's who I mean to. Uh, uh, that's who I mean when I say run away. Okay, and then we have an action or a state. Is giving his sister graduation party an action? Is a very good fireman a state or run away? lots of action okay so we're going to talk more about these different types and there's actually one more uh, different types of clauses we're going to talk about uh, clauses that can stand alone and clauses that that uh, cannot stand alone uh, we can talk about cl clauses that you can use to make sentences and then other clauses which you can actually embed in the subject or embed in the predicate, uh, embed in phrases uh, to make more complicated, more detailed uh, phrases. So uh, we will do that in later videos. We won't do that right now. So I will talk to you later.